How you doing? Professor Jonathan Wilson, about to read you my latest paper in the Journal of Marketing Management, which is called Understanding Branding is entirely written in spoken word. It also has some end notes with some cultural references, some observations about how we understand brands, definitions, whether they work, whether they don't work. Let me know what you think. See you later. Okay, let's begin this odyssey. So, when I think about the years that I've spent reading about brands or doing branding, traveling, talking to people, I still have these same nagging thoughts and questions. Creating a brand and doing branding is simple, but somehow it doesn't seem that easy because if it was, then everyone who tried to do it would basically succeed in fulfilling the basic remit, which is to deliver value. You follow the rules, the playbooks, the theories and the definitions, then they should work. And if you manage it before, then you should be able to do it again. However, for many brands, that doesn't seem to happen. They almost become like wallpaper. The functional brand value diminishes and we only hear about the success stories or the failures after they occur. But are those explanations the real truth as understood during the journey? So this is where I'm at. And I've come up with some working definitions, which are a brand has to buy you something. And that's a blend of tangible and intangible functions. It's a human form of cultural expression and it's designed to communicate meaning and to deliver current or future value, which can accrue over time. Branding is a strategic and concise means of expressing, amplifying and controlling who you are, what you do, who you're associated with and what you own. And that has to be for competitive gains. You use a variety of communications, methods and media and they're collaborative and measurable. Now, having set the scene, I'm going to plunge into the spoken word piece. Enjoy. Understanding branding is demanding. The try it diets of healthy bottom lines, war chests, corporate biceps, back slaps, and navel gazes attest the dress for success and put brands to the test. We'll fight them on the beaches as beach body ready digital nomads know that branded influence just got personal. Commercial role reversals entice nice influencers to make their appeal universal. Surfing waves of identity politics, makeup rehearsals, and slices of life that are augmented and reality virtual. Academies of accountants dressed in marketing clothing defy creatives and designers. Owning the matrix of performance metrics, branded labels, and league tables. The business speak technique of giving branding a religion. Landscape living at cityscape temples. Dodging dystopian dates with fate and a taste of Aesop's fables. The Tower of Babel holds the tech savvy, civilized in a cradle. Designed to hatch purple haze crazes, rituals and chic. Creating purple patches of collectives. Copyright inimitable and copyright unique. Is understanding, branding, the quantum physics of business, an art, a science, or maybe the pop culture big bang that can define human nuances and the brotherhood of man? Get jiggy like Ziggy. Try and apply Bohr's model. Think, brands exist only when you look at them. Quantum leap deep. Or is it high time to drop a little Einstein where like gloves in a box, brands already existed predetermined and yearning for polarity, augmented brand reality. Brand personality apparently means the right dose of being ruggedly exciting and sincerely right here. In the place to be, sophisticated anthropomorphic identities eliciting consumer-based equity rise from salience to resonance. The battle for brand ranking statistics, detail, retail, FOMO heuristics, and YOLO hedonistics. Taste the space race to turn your Pinocchio brand story into a real live household homeboy logo or rock the art world like Edo woodblock prints of kimonos. Branding loves the allegorical and the metaphorical and it's goldy locked into the too hot, too hard, just right but never too cool and just might drop some retro as a memento. A bathing ape of supreme, anti-social clubs like Montclair are right here LV be off-white 
and just write in the gardens of Gucci. Kiss and make up like Fenty and Burberry the Hatchet because it's easy to be Stussy or get a Fendi when you can't Tom Ford your Saint Laurent. The artifact of creating brazen, graven images, icons made by mavens, live on beyond the product life cycle. Brand immortality craves the sacred, mundane, and profane rituals of the fanatics to tap into the ghetto fabulous, hipster fantastic, and conservative heritage dynastic psycho demographics. Mad tactics. Managing branding is so demanding. If you don't stand for something, you all might fall for anything. Markets are meandering. Manic street preachers feature titanic branding panic to feed the world wise web addiction for unicorns, tsunamis, COVID-19 and iconic saviour predictions. The missionary position of brand pandering to emerging nations with young populations always gets a trade preservation. Seeking Mandarin speaking buyers and Indians in luxury attire consumes boardrooms as much as the boom of fast fashion and sweatshop looms. Crazy rich Asian dragons and tigers like the doors light our fire. The desire to tap that Asian population, 60% of the world is why they're chasing, from Amazon to Alibaba to a smartphone near you. Online means on time and zero hour contracts coming for your crew. From Generation Malcolm X to Don't Call Us Latinx, sexy activism has given brands repurpose. Get hype like Nike, just do it Kaepernick and dream crazy. But don't live for now like Pepsi, that Jenna ad was flaky hazy. Ad land is handing brands to the gangs of Hispanic Fantastic, Afro Dashiki Chic and Arab Disneyland's laid on sand. The empire strikes black because hip hop changed the map. Be schooled by be schooled pseudo intellectual models which are ineffectual. Where students eat research onions instead of vegetables. In 2000 and now, many still get to play tricks with a 1970s BCG matrix. Questions mark the card of the golden cash cows, and that's how holding it down like Dow Jones dogs the star of the show and tell jewel of the nigh. BCG has become the B-School ECG cardiac stress test to arrest business blunders. The speakeasy plague of painting business by numbers to gift us case studies and assignments along the yellow brick road of rubrics and Malice in Wonderland on-point powerpoints. Marxing 101 from the Ministry of Love. Take a peek at social, anti-social, media, news speak, where there's room in 101 for cat memes, avocados, stretch marks, and filtered fun. Acceptable stereotyping, we call market segmentation, puts the genius and homogeneous and the right drop of indigo in our ready-to-go distressed jeans. Oxymorons encourage us to spend more on affordable, luxurious, expedient convenience. TEDx said the road to Damascus is paved with experiential omnichannel salvation. Fitting appreciation or spitting appropriation. Nation-splitting debates of late create tunnel landscapes and the Twitterati lie in wait. Do we relate the spate of hate crimes to headlines of multiculturalism, celebrating celebrities, or the calamity of getting recipe intersectionality horribly wrong? The debate of where we belong carries on. Eyes right, eyes left. Politics, dog whistles and gongs. The milk of human kindness is dry and getting spineless. When the money cup is half empty, the race for ethnicity and equality pay the penalty. But the advertising revolution will not be televised anymore. Smart minds, smart mouths, smart phones, smart thumbs, and smart messaging are the essence of the new school multi-screen scene. The revolution will be devised by advertisers who can act like rappers and crack stats like mathematicians. The mission, being hip to the pop, enticing consumers with concision, and dropping the right zeitgeist. Learn the art of science and chart the science of art. Engineer unconscious compliance and avoid consumer defiance. But from mad men to math men, the stale, pale male prevails. And until hordes of billboards dubbed with afros and the delicious, curvilicious can afford boardrooms swimming with Ahmed men, hashtag mad women and melanin, that thing called marketing will face a glass chin. Porcelain white fragility and snowflake views skews the trauma. 
Remember how Obama came with the karma, but then came the drama? House of Cards brought the beef and played a Trump rump steak and raised the stakes. White house, white wash, white fence. No offense. It's just fake news with views we thought were past tense. But, as a matter of fact, black lives still matter. Feeling it's half past the hour? Batter those ivory towers. Open glass doors to mothers, sisters and women. The blisters shattering the ceilings are killing our women. They need their own room in the boardroom. Organisations can't grow without a womb. If we follow the hymn of our fathers, the tune of the boardroom is doom. Being averse to city diversity will bury businesses in a tomb. Check the flow of conscious and consciousness, where the line between liking and disliking is one moji away, and microphoning your life is like a daily buffet, like Niccolo Machiavelli in Renaissance Florence. Companies are jacking opinion as if they're online torrents. Influencers are getting sick like influenza. Send a comment viral and be a blue tick contender. Celebrity upgrade, you're made. Paparazzi loves you. Homemade becomes made for Netflix. Feed a binge fix and get them hooked like chips. You get more data than you used to get dates. Snack that Snapchat and where you're sat, open that app and grab a vegan burger full fat. Algorithms get flipped and reality bites. Figures plunge and your hits are out of sight in an Instagram. Branding is demanding mad understanding. When you have to cope with being 24-7 on trend woke, it's no joke. Zipping up your backlash raincoat and getting down with the authentically scripted stand-up toting TikTok comeback jokes. Toast a spicy rich roast blend of money making, sexy activism, sustainability, sincerity and congeniality. Brand land could do with a moment of clarity. Or are we drunk on the tipple of one of Aristotle's fallacies? Cyberpunked in or blunted and sunk out? The algorithm nation is the nipple causing ripples in the sea of monkey see, monkey do. Keychain access and a doorstep near you. Understanding branding is mad demanding. It could do with some bookwise, street smart human handling. Now that you've heard the spoken word section of my paper, I'd encourage you to read the whole paper what you'll find is there's an extensive cultural key with all of the references, whether that's quantum physics, quantum leap, the matrix, FOMO, YOLO, all of that stuff. I give definitions and explanations. And also there's a section talking about why hip hop is important, how there's been a rise of influencers, entrepreneurs coming from the hip hop scene. And finally, I make the point that there is a lack of diversity of thought and representation amongst various communities around the world. Anyway, understanding branding is mad demanding. It could do with some bookwise, street smart, human understanding. Hope you liked it. I tried to make it hot for your spot. See you later.